Because this is an electrical issue, not a water issue. I can understand with a water issue. That was in the uh, the other guy's name. That was in the uh, uh, one of the owners' names. Yeah. Well, the water was involved too because the water was contaminated. How was the water contaminated? So the water is also involved. Oh yeah, sure. The water's involved, but the contamination's happening through the ground on the way to the house. But can I give you the name of my manager? Um, you could, yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, what's that name? His, my manager is Patrick Tucker. What's the last name? Tucker. T-U-C-K-E-R. T-E-C-K-E-R? T. T like in Tom. Oh, T? Yes. And then what, what is it? U-C-K-E-R? U C K E R. Patrick Tucker. Correct. Okay, and then he's the He's a, he's a manager for for customer service. Manager for customer service. Yes, so he's my big boss. And uh, is that customer service for the call center? Two other cities in the whole state of California that have their own health department, and for good reason, too, I guess. Um, so here's what happened. I leased this property out. I We fixed it up and all that. We're getting ready for an art show. Uh, it's a large property. Uh, well, one-fifth of an acre is, it, it sits on. Um, anyway, so we have this big sewage spill. Uh, we had a couple little floods before then. They were minor, but, you know, we have this big sewage spill, and it's pumping out of the walls and everything. And... I'm calling the owners and, and trying to get them to come out. Nothing. I call the city, and the city tells me it's between me and the owner. So I called the plumbers, and I called everyone else, and I'm told that, you know, that it's, it's just everywhere. It's really nasty, and, I, and so I'm cleaning it up. I'm in an area with apartments and stuff around me. I get, this is a little house. but So I clean this stuff up myself, and uh, during the process of it, um, I'm... I find out that the whole entire underneath of the house is actually a makeshift uh, a sump, uh, you know, for uh, sewage. And it's a sump for sewage. It's a sewage, like a cesspool, just like it. And so what's happening is it's like raising the sewage water up through the walls <clears throat> and creating uh, penicillium aspergillus, which is like the most deadliest form of uh, fungus, fungal mold there is. It's, there's, there's no cure for it, um, not for medicine. You've got to go homeopathic to cure it. But anyway, so I'm, I'm working with this, and I'm, I'm pulling it out. I used to have a cleaning business. I'm, I used to do mold remediation a long time ago, so I'm aware of what to do. And so I'm pulling this stuff out, and then there's this long French drain that was made out of the uh, electric service pipes that were put in there uh, like five years ago, six years ago. And... So the guy who did it, when they when they went and signed this thing off, they cut through two and a half feet plus of raw sewage that had been placed over the entire yard of this house. Entire yard, raw sewage everywhere. It's thick. Underneath that, I've got a layer of uh, compressed uh, oil-filled uh, um, like dirt um, over that, and that's the when you have that and a raw sewage supply going into old sewage with a compressed layer of clay. That's a classic uh, has, hazardous waste dump, the uh, cap that they put on it. So what I'm doing, I didn't know this yet, so I'm, I'm cleaning out this dirt that I'm thinking is just tainted with raw sewage into the back lawn, which is nice, and, and I'm cutting open the lawn and mixing this stuff in using EPA standard uh, materials, uh, natural um, uh, uh, 
the minerals and what have you. So I can't get anybody to help me at all. Uh, this is coming into July, and I'm getting all these threats, criminal threats from the, the landlords and stuff. They've seen this place already. They've seen it coming in and seen it, nothing. So the I called the gas company out on an emergency call for gas emissions. Um, I thought it might have been a broken gas pipe. I don't know. My sense of smell is not that great. And uh, so we're waiting for him. The gas guy comes out. It's at night. And he goes through the whole entire property and he says, okay, it's not our gas, but you've got gas here. And this is dangerous, really dangerous. And he says, this continues, uh, gets any worse, whatever. You've got to call 911. You do. And, and so I was told that about 50 times already. I didn't do it. So I called 911 on the 23rd of July, 911, and uh, they dispatched a hazmat truck from around the corner for me. And they came out and they saw that how I'd been trying to get in contact with the city and get them out, and they just got really upset. And so the captain of the team called, uh, he called the city, had the health department and building and safety come out, a code compliance. Well, what they did, when, as soon as they came out, the, the one guy from building and safety, he took the health department girl aside, and she's the department head, and he talked to her in private. She, they both came in, and everything had changed. Uh, we'd been, we'd gotten insulted. The, the whole nine yards were having this sewage mess stuff we were dealing with, and I had partially, it's a, it's a remediation that's half done. So they pulled the power, they pulled the water, then they took the side 100% of the owner. And they would, I wouldn't even, I couldn't even talk to the owner or anything without going through these guys. Um, I have a, uh, uh, a order on me from the health department um, back on uh, August the 9th and August the 17th, a two-page letter detailing how I'm basically responsible for removing toxic waste from the place, everything. I can't touch anything on my own uh, without hiring a, to a toxic waste company. Now, I, I stayed on these people and sent all these letters and everything, and uh, what happened was they, uh, last week on Thursday, I got a, um, uh, from this lady's boss, she's the department head, but he's the head of the whole environmental division, and he sent me out an order, oh, yeah, and it stated basically that I could get my stuff, clean it, and, you know, go and leave the stuff there for the owner. It was a, sure. Okay, so um, I was just told that, that I could get the, the stuff, my stuff, that's been sitting there for the, a little over two months, and that I could wash it and, and disinfect it. I've got these lab reports that say that I've got the most toxic mold in the world over there. They were taken by certified hygienists, certified labs and everything. And that the backyard is full of sewage. Uh, dangerous. It's E. coli, live, and uh, other things. So. I asked the guy, the health department guy, I thank him, and I asked him, I say, you know, hey, I don't have water here. What, what, what can I do to, to disinfect this? So he tells me, you know, I can spritz it with the, and there's no reason the water to be out, but I can spritz it with a little bit of chlorine bleach, right? And I've got art, all my personal uh, clothing, everything is out there. And and so I can, I'm supposed to spritz it, and then he tells me to rinse it off with uh, clear water. Well, they haven't given me the water, and tomorrow, they're going to come in and, for the fourth time, try to seize my uh, property, all of it, my vehicles, everything, and, um, you know, seize my stuff. Uh, because the, they they're, say the property is vacant. They're, they're going, they're circumventing the court. I'm in court right now uh, regarding this house and the possession of it. And Oh yeah, I rented it in uh, um, in uh, um, November thirteenth uh, of last year. Yeah, that's when I rented it. But this problem started happening in uh, May. This was a May thing when it started flooding up. Well, no, they all are. Um, what happened was the owner threatened me on the telephone. I've got those those things with criminal actions um, to get me out of the house. What he did was he tricked me into uh, fixing the house up. Um, I did a lot of work in there. And then he arbitrarily, I had an 18-month lease with him. He arbitrarily said, hey, 
you got to get out. We're gonna we're gonna do these criminal things to you." And and uh, what he did do, go ahead. Okay. Oh no no that that wasn't it that that wasn't it the. Well, I have none. I have no criminal charges against me. He said he would fabricate them. Well, he threatened me with uh, uh, criminal charges from the, uh, uh, the fire marshal, from the police department, and several other agencies. Now, what happened with on 7:23 on July 23rd in the morning? This was the day after my my girlfriend was going. She lives lives with me, but she was going to Puerto Rico that night on the 22nd. All right, the, the landlord knew this. Now, on the 23rd, they came to the property. Um, the landlord came to the property, who I lease is from, and then one of the supposed owners. Now, he brought two people with him when that was an insurance adjuster, and he brought in a, uh, the attorney for an insurance adjuster that only handles criminal cases for insurance adjusters who did the wrong thing. So. They're at the property. I'm not there. I wasn't notified. They called the police and told the police that they had a missing persons presumed dead in the property, and that some and I was the culprit, and that she was buried or hidden in the property somewhere. Now we had a U-Haul truck that we had rented uh, two days prior. We were there on the property two days prior, and the guy on the site that was there talking to the police was there two days prior. They gave the police this report. The police broke into our house. You know. Uh, rightfully so, and went through the house and, and everything, went up and down the neighborhood with our pictures, and then they, once finding out that we were there two days earlier, they went up to uh, my girlfriend's uh, place of business in the same city and did the same thing, trying to find the missing persons and, and stating that they hadn't seen her for two months. Um, yeah, this is just one of the many things. but. Um, I was calling you today because I've been referred to you. I, the police department, I've given them a lot of information, and they referred me to the, uh, the Pasadena uh, newspaper and the L.A. Times. They said they cannot look at their own people on this. They can't look at their own people. Yeah, they can't look at them. Now, what I found by... I think so, yeah. Uh, what I did is I accidentally uncovered a ring of stuff. This is way bigger than it's been going on for a while. It's big. It's it's